Now in the previous lecture, we understand how you can add this banner image in this header section. Now let me show you how you can add this banner text and this description in this customizer setting. So you know that using this header settings, I can change and replace this image whenever we want. So what I want, I want to add a customizer setting for this title and for this description. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to just back to my editor and just open the customizer.php file. And in this file, as you know, we use these three methods to add this customizer setting. So I'm going to just simply copy this add setting method and paste it down here. And I'm going to just change this command and specify here adding header text. And just out of that, I'm going to just change this ID and I'm going to say here header text field. And just out of that, I want to add a control in this setting. So I'm going to just use this add control class to add a control in this setting. So I'm going to just simply add here a command and say adding text control. So I'm going to say here WP customizer and call a method add control. And to this method, I'm going to specify a parameter. So as you can notice here, up here, we specify WP customize image control class to this parameter. But I don't want to add image control here. So I'm not going to call this object here. Instead, I'm going to specify a single code and specify header text control. And to the second parameter, I'm going to specify array and specify different values to this input control. So I'm going to just specify here label for this input control. So I'm going to specify here label and specify value to it. So I'm going to specify header text domain is going to be daily. Just out of that, as I said earlier, I can specify description for this control as well. So I'm going to specify here description and I'm going to specify description in the single code. I'm going to say change header text and just out of that you need to specify to this add control section so what i'm going to do is i just wanted to add this control inside this header setting so i'm going to simply specify here header if you want you can create a new customizer setting for this input control as well i have used this simple header setting for this input control so as you can see we just specify this header id in this section so I'm going to have this control inside this header setting. If you want to create your own setting in this section, you can just use this method. That's upon you. Now just out of that, just out of this section parameter, you need to specify the primary setting for this input control. So I'm going to call here a new parameter called settings. And in this setting, I'm going to specify this parameter, header text field. So I'm going to specify this add setting parameter to this setting parameter like this. Save the changes back to the website and reload it. Now just click on this header settings. When I click on it, you can notice I have this header input text box. Using this input text box, I can change this simplicity text. Now you can notice we have the title and the description of this input control. Now what I want, I want to specify default value for this input control. I'm going to do that in this add setting method so i'm going to specify here comma and then in the single code i'm going to say default and specify value to it i'm going to specify here simplicity save the changes when you reload the browser i'm going to have a default value in this input text box so i have here default value for this input text box now what i want when i change the value of this input text box i want to update this title so I'm going to just back to my index.php file and just get rid of this hard-coded h1 heading tag. So I'm going to specify here command. I just copy this if statement, paste it down here and remove this image tag. And instead of adding this image tag, I'm going to add here h1 heading tag. So I'm going to copy this h1 heading tag, paste it down here, get rid of this simplicity hard-coded value and specify here a php syntax and just say echo get theme mode and in the parameter of this get theme mode you need to specify 
this and setting parameter this one header text field copy it paste it inside the parameter of this get theme mode like this don't forget to change this if statement i'm going to specify that parameter right up here as well just like this and save all the changes when i save the changes back to the website and reload it You can notice now, I can change this simplicity text. When I change this text, you can notice this text is now changing. I can now specify any text here. So if I just say here, daily tuition, I'm going to have that text here. As simple as that. So using this setting, you can change this text anytime, whenever you want. That's upon you. Now, in the previous lecture, I taught you how you can add this customizer setting for this banner title and using this customizer setting you can change the title of your banner now let me show you how you can add a customizer setting for this description text so i'm going to back to my customizer.php file and in the customizer.php i'm going to just copy these two methods so i'm going to just copy it paste it down here and change this text so i'm going to say here adding header description field and I will just change this parameter so I'm gonna say here header description field and just out of that I'm gonna leave this parameter as it is and change this default parameter and I'm gonna say here the power of WordPress just out of that I'm gonna just change this ID and I'm gonna say here header description control and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just change this heading so i'm going to say header description then i'm going to just specify description here change header description and i'm going to leave this section parameter as it is because i want to add because i want to add this control inside these header settings so i'm going to just leave this parameter as it is and i'm going to just change this setting value so I'm going to specify here this header description field just like this. Save the changes and back to the customizer setting. When you back to the customizer setting and reload it in this header setting, you're going to have a new control header description. So using this control, you can change the description of this banner section. So I'm going to just back to my index.php and I'm going to get rid of this spawn tag. So I'm going to put this spawn tag in the command. And I'm going to just copy this if statement, paste it down here and get rid of this h1 heading tag and call this spawn tag here. Get rid of this hard-coded value, the power of WordPress, call the PHP syntax and just say echo get theme mode and to the parameter of this get theme mode template tag. I'm going to call this setting parameter, this one, header description field. Copy it and paste it inside this get theme mode parameter. Don't forget to change this value inside this if statement. So I'm going to change this to get description field. Save all the changes back to the customizer setting and reload it. Now let me just open the header setting. And when I change the value of this header description, you can notice here the text is also changed. Right? So when you change the value of this header description, the text is also changed. So you can specify your own text here, whatever you want. So I'm going to say here WordPress banner area. Then you're going to get this text right down here. And if you want to save all the changes, you can click on this publish button. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to leave my default text as it is. So I'm going to reload this browser and I'm going to leave the default settings. You know that how to create customizer setting for your WordPress theme. We just added the image control, two different input text box to change the text of the WordPress theme. Now we know that how to add customizer setting in the WordPress theme. Now, now we know that how you can add customizer setting to the WordPress theme. Now let's move on and see how we can create these beautiful categories in this WordPress theme. 
So I'm going to just back to my editor and in this editor and down here you can notice just out of this banner area I have this category section. Let me show you a very interesting template tag in WordPress get template part. Using get template part template tag you can create your own file and link that file to the specific area. For example if I just cut these sections so I'm going to just grab all these anchor tags cut it and paste it in a new file and specify that template file in this division tag that I'm going to have all that anchor tag inside this division tag. Let me show you with the example. So if I just create here a new folder inside this template I'm going to name that folder temp and in this temp folder I'm going to create a new file and name that file categories dash content and I'm going to specify extension php. In this file I'm going to paste all that anchor tags and in the index.php I'm going to call here php syntax and I'm going to create here a command and say get template part template tag. So I'm going to just call here a beautiful template tag called get template part. I want to get the code inside this categories content.php file. I want to get this code. So I'm going to just say here inside the parentheses of this get template part. I'm going to specify single code, specify the template folder, then specify temp which is the folder name and I'm going to specify here categories content.php. Now what you need, you need to get rid of this slug right from here and in the second parameter you need to specify the slug of this file. So if we specify here you can notice we have the content slug for this file. So I'm going to specify that content slug right down here. So I'm going to say here content as simple as that. So this is the proper way to add this get template part template tag. Now what I'm going to do is I don't want to get these hard coded anchor tags. Instead I'm going to get all the categories from the WordPress. So I'm going to simply open my dashboard and as you know we don't have any categories yet. So let me just create these categories in the WordPress theme. Hover over this post and in this post I have this category section. I'm going to click on it and open the categories. Now in this category section I have three categories books, category one and uncategorized. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete both these categories and create new categories. So I'm going to delete these categories. I'm going to select it and specify here delete. And when I click on this apply, this is going to delete both these categories. Now just out of that I'm going to create new categories in this add new category section. So I'm going to create a new category here and name that category travel. If you want you can specify slug for this category. I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm going to leave this parent category as it is. And I'm going to say here travel category. Then I'm going to just click on this add new category to add a new category in this category section. Just out of that I'm going to just create a few more categories here. So I'm going to say here photography create a new category photography then I'm going to create people create a people category then I'm going to create natural click on this add new category to create a new category natural then I'm going to create commercial click on this add new category to create commercial category and the last I'm going to create all category and I'm going to say here all categories. Click on this add new category to create this category. So as you can notice we have different categories here. Now let me show you how we can add these categories in the WordPress theme. So I'm going to back to my editor and you can notice here we have these hard coded values here. I'm going to get rid of all these values and get the categories from the MySQL database. So I'm going to simply put these categories in the command to remove this code. And what we need I'm going to just add here a PHP syntax right up here. I'm going to say PHP and specify the name for this template. So I'm going to add here a header. I'm going to say here a theme name, add categories. And just out of this header, I'm going to just create here a single line command and say retrieve list of categories. So I'm going to just use get categories function to retrieve the list of categories in this template file. So I'm going to just call here get categories. So I'm going to just call here get categories function 
and in the parentheses of these get categories i'm going to specify add a and i'm going to specify different parameter to this get categories function so i'm going to just specify here order by so you can set the order of the categories using this order by parameter so i'm going to specify here name i want all these categories order by name and i'm going to specify second parameter parent and i'm going to specify value to it zero so using this parameter i only return the top level categories not the child categories so this function will return the categories so i'm going to get that categories in the variable so i'm going to create here a variable categories and get that all categories in this variable now once i have all the category list in this categories variable i can iterate the categories one by one and display in the browser so i'm going to just create here for each loop so i'm going to say for each and in this loop i'm going to just create a new variable so i'm going to call here categories first as category so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just get the category one by one in this variable and display them in the browser so in this for each i'm going to call printf function so i'm going to say here printf and in the parenthesis i'm going to specify anchor tag so as you know we have this anchor tag to create a category so i'm going to copy this anchor tag paste it inside this parameter just like this using this printf function you can specify different parameter to this function and use that parameter to outputting data so if i just specify here comma and specify my second parameter and i'm going to just say here escape url we use this function to check the clean url and in the parenthesis of this function i'm going to say get category link so i'm going to call a function get category link and in the parenthesis of this function i'm going to specify category and call a property of this category which is term id so using this function i'm going to get the category by its id so using this parameter i'm going to get the id of the categories and using this function i'm going to get the link of the specific category just out of that just out of this function specify comma here and to the second parameter i'm going to say here escape html so using this escape html i'm going to just check the valid html tag and inside the parenthesis of this function i'm going to call category and just call a property name so using this name property i'm going to get the category name what we need i just wanted to call these parameters in these anchor tags so i'm going to just simply get rid of this href value and specify here percentage sign one dollar s so this refers to the number of parameter i want so at this time i want to get the value of the first parameter so i'm going to get this value in this href attribute so the one refers to the parameter and the s refers to the type of value just like that i'm going to get rid of this all text right from here specify percentage sign to dollar and just specify s here because i want string value here so using the syntax i'm going to get the second parameter this one so i'm going to get the name of the categories in this smart tag say the changes oops i think i forgot to specify semicolon here save the changes when you reload the website you can notice you're going to have your categories now at this point i'm going to just have a one category here because we did not specify any of these categories to any of the block because as you know you did not specify any of these categories to any blog post that is why you're not going to get these categories in this website so when you create a blog post and specify these categories to that blog post you're going to get your categories down here now you're going to get this uncategorized category in this index file because we have this category specified to the hello world post now when we specify these categories to this post i'm going to have all these categories up here so don't worry about that in the next lecture i'm going to show you how we can create this beautiful article in this wordpress I'm going to get the articles from the MySQL database and display them in the WordPress theme. So, I will see you in the next one.